Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Do you wish you had better access to the insight of your loved one's daily life at Senior Living? Well, today we're gonna to talk with Taylor Hewlett, the communication manager at Applewood Our House, about strengthening relationships between staff and uh, family members. So stick around and uh, here's a short video about Serenity. Welcome back. I'm very excited to be interviewing Taylor Hewlett today. Taylor is a multi-talented young professional. He is an author. We'll talk about that in just a moment. He's a photographer. He's an actor, which I just learned yesterday, as a matter of fact. Um, he's passionate about senior care, and he is the communications manager at Applewood Our House. Let's talk about his book. He recently wrote a book called About Faces, Expressions of Alzheimer's and Dementia. You can find this on Amazon. He took stories of six individuals living with Alzheimer's and dementia, interviewed the families, took some amazing photographs, and compiled these stories so that we can all, those of us who have gone through this, who are going through it now, can have other people to relate to and understand this journey a little bit better and gain insight. And it's a really touching, moving book. So I encourage you to at least check it out. And I would like to now bring on Taylor and let him introduce himself a little bit. Hi, Taylor. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Kathy. It's really great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and I love what you're doing at Applewood Our House. Tell our audience a little bit about who you are, why you have passion for senior care, and what you do at Applewood. Yeah, th thanks for having me again. My name is Taylor Hewlett. I'm with Applewood Our House Assisted Living Memory Care here in Colorado, and our goal is uh, moments and memories with Applewood. And, and why I'm so passionate about that is because I'm a storyteller, and I really love to help people. Those are my passions. And with being in senior care and being a storyteller and being able to help people, all of those passions really combine together and collide. And it's, it just gives me so much joy. It gives me so much energy to be doing what I do. So my book, I tell those stories through those portraits, through those words. And then through communications, we're able to connect families with their loved ones, especially right now in the last few months with COVID-19 and things like that. It's been really crucial to have open communication, great communication, even if it's just photos or, or stories and things like that. So I'm super excited to be here. I love what I do and, and thank you again. Excellent, well, thanks so much. And you are a storyteller and so we're gonna be telling some stories today. Um, first, I wanna talk a little bit about COVID and the communication and how that's impacted you, your staff, your families and your residents. I know things have been changing a lot with the rules and regulations for um, how we communicate during COVID or what needs to be communicated when. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, things ch do change a lot. And that's something that I think all of the assisted livings and long-term care communities are, um, I don't want to say dealing with, but but dealing with, really um, trying to navigate through and working with the state and working with our families and working with our staff, trying to figure out better communications around um, family communications and communications between staff. And those, like I said, those kind of regulations have been changing every so often and, and we make adjustments as needed. And that's really, I think, where Serenity kind of came in for us. We're able to really pull in moments and memories through Serenity. So we can send a little photo to a family member um, to update them about their loved one's day, whether it be um, they got their nails done or they got their hair done, if you will. Um, then they get that photo and they still feel connected. In the last couple of months, we've had very limited visitation as, as every community has. And being able to connect over Serenity with photos and a little bit of a story has been crucial. Yeah, and as you know, I am all about family feeling connected when they can't physically be there. And I was all about that before COVID ever hit because we have so many of us in a sandwich generation mode where people like me have full-time jobs, kids at home, husbands, um, other, other things in our lives that we're tending to as well as ourselves. And we can't always feel that 
same connection that we want to feel with our loved one. And if they have dementia, you can't just call them up and ask them how they're doing. So it's very, very important for family to feel that connection. And the way that I found I did it was through the staff. And I built, as many family members do, a, a really um, a, a bond with the staff there. And it was all built on trust. And so that's really my goal with Serenity is to create and strengthen that bond. And places like Applewood, our house, I, I align with your mission so well, um, memories and moments, because that's, that's one of the things that Serenity is really, really good at. So let's talk a little bit about when you rolled out to, um, to a house there, you got some feedback from some of the family members. Can you share some of that? Yeah. Yeah, we're all about building trust, and and I think it really goes down to the little little bits throughout the day. It's you can't earn trust um, all at once. You earn it as as you get it. You earn it with little steps along the way. And, and one of those steps could be um, an example we had was I think a family member had messaged one of our staff on Serenity, and they said, "Does my mom have her summer bathrobe?" And it was something so yeah. simple, but yeah. that that caregiver could walk into that room and. and to their mom's room and check and see if they had a, a summer bathrobe to wear. And she didn't. And so the family member brought one, I think it was two days after that. They coordinated the pickup through Serenity. It was so quick and it was so easy that that was hopefully an element of trust that we're building on as well. And I just love that because it was so simple and we're here and we're a team. You know, they're part of it too, which is great. Yes, and I happened to be on the phone when that family member told you that story, and I it just warms my heart. And you hit on something really important, which is trust is not built overnight. It's not in one step. It is the little things that happen on a regular basis. So I'm a huge fan of Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. His son wrote a book called The Speed of Trust, The One Thing That Changes Everything. Um, I wholly believe that, yeah. and that's what we work for at Serenity. That As book our, is actually that book is actually sitting on my nightstand. Is it okay? Yeah. Wait, it's which one? Next in line for me, the speed of trust. Okay, yes. Um, I didn't realize yeah. it was his son who wrote that book initially, and um, I, I'm just I'm such a big fan. And, and the same thing, the same story is carried through both books, which um, one of the many is the idea of the emotional bank account and putting small deposits regularly into somebody's emotional bank account. So I think about the staff being able to put little deposits into the family's emotional bank account on a regular basis with photos and little snippets. And, and we'll hear some of that in the quotes we're going to show in just a moment. Um, then when you have to have those inevitable difficult discussions, because I mean, let's face it, um, Alzheimer's and dementia is hard. So we're going to have to have some difficult discussions at some point. When you have the emotional bank account full, you, you begin to work together as a partnership rather than working uh, almost like a car without oil where everything is kind of grinding and not working very well. So that's how I, I look at Serenity, and I think that you touched on that. So I really wanted to, to bring that point home. But the other side to that is family can do the same thing for staff, which is something we want to do and we don't always have an opportunity to do it. So now family can reply and say, thank you so much for everything you do, or I so appreciated what you did for my mom the other day. I have to tell you, it brought me to tears. Things like that, that we can share with the staff and help the staff know that we really do appreciate everything that they're doing. Because we know, not every family knows, but um, I think most of us know that everybody works really, really, really hard. Some caregivers take three buses to get to work. They could get paid more working at uh, McDonald's down the street. They don't. They do. They work as caregivers because they love, love, love the residents. And those residents are our family, our moms and our dads and our spouses. So, okay, enough about that. Um, so let's talk, let's share some of these quotes that some of the family members gave you when you asked them. Uh, or these are actual quotes from Serenity, right? These are these? Yeah, directly from Serenity. Okay. 
So um, I'll go through these, and then you can tell us a little bit of, of the stories around these or, or the overarching story. So uh, one family member said, thank you, thank you so much. It means a lot to see that smile. To me, that's that, you know, um, a picture is worth a thousand words. This one is so fun. Um, looks like fun. Go, Mommy. I love these photos. Thanks for sharing them. Again, you can just feel the warm heart in that, right? And then this last one is maybe one of my favorites. I'm finally getting on board with the app, the app being Serenity. This is awesome. So nice to see mom acting like her sassy old self. Thank you for all you do for her. It really shows. I think about that one and I think the sassy self. We all want to see that in our, you know, I wanted to see that in my mom and my dad. I wanted to see their, you know, their old self coming out. Um, and then I loved that she, in that, was excited to see her mom, you know, showing up that way. At the same time, she appreciated the staff and really illuminated what I'm trying to do, which is illuminate the care that, that senior living is providing to our loved ones. So, you know, she said, thank you. It really shows all of the work that you guys are doing. So can you share a little bit about those stories? Sure. Yeah. I wanted to throw, uh, we, we were talking about a little bit before about the front care caregivers, the care team um, in, the, in the communities, a big thank you to them because yes, I'm the communications manager and I'm helping communication flow and I'm kind of facilitating these tools and things like that. But they're the people that, that are communicating with the families on a daily basis. There's the, they are the people that are caring for our loved ones and our family members um, on a daily basis. And so what they're doing in those quotes just shows right on through. And I'm I'm so excited to be able to share those. And I'm I just so thankful for our wonderful team at Applewood, all of our caregivers and things for, for providing the care that they do. They're so wonderful. The story tend, oh, from, go, ahead. go ahead. No, I was gonna say I tend to agree. When we rolled out at one of the houses, uh, it was immediately two of your caregivers just jumped on and were sending photos mm -hmm. like crazy. It was like this mad photo rush. I don't know. It was amazing though to see that they got it and they wanted to. They finally had an outlet to share individually with each family member. And I, I just I loved that. So that really goes back to our, our mission, moments and memories. We're providing moments for our residents and we're providing memories for our families. And some of the stories that go along with that is so much fun. We had a caregiver almost play a pseudo game of charades through Serenity. So the caregiver would take a picture of the resident and they would be doing a, a blowing the kiss photo or doing something. And the family member would have to kind of guess what they were doing. And then the family member would do the same thing. They would... Uh, send a photo of them doing something and the resident or the caregiver with the caregiver's support um, would have to try to guess. And it's just a way to connect. It's just such a simple way to, to connect. It's an activity to do that's safe and everything. And, and I just love that story because you can really feel the connection. You can really see it and you start to build tr trust and we're a caring community and that's that's what we're all about. Yes, and it really shows, and you really are all about moments and memories, and, and serenity is not the only way that you communicate with family. It's just one of the ways, and I, I'm honored to be part of that mix for your team. So we saved, um, I think, it's hard for me to say it's my favorite because <laughs> there are so many that are my favorites. I love the charade story. I, I love the, it's good to see my mom being sassy again story. Um, and I, I love this story. It just really, really warmed my heart. So um, you do a photo contest every month, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. We do a photo and video contest every month. And it's just something fun to get all of our caregivers involved. We do little prizes and things like that. But really, it supports our mission, the moments and memories. We're sharing with the families photos and videos. Photos are worth a thousand words and things like that. So we're, we're connecting with the families in that way. So we do these photo contests and it's a really fun way to share share these connections. And this particular photo, I believe one for the month of May, and it's taken by one of our awesome caregivers. Um, here's one of our residents. She's blowing you a kiss. And I just love this because it's such a little moment for them. And it's such a great memory for the family member, for her daughter. So It is. And, and I love it. It's almost like you could play it over and over in a GIF and it's the, you know, blowing a kiss and... 
Um, and if I recall, the family member said that this is, this is a, um, kind of a spark moment that her mom doesn't always do these things. So what a special treat, really, to have captured that and shared it. Right. right. And, and right now, in the, in the last couple of months, we haven't had visitation due to COVID-19. So being able to share something like that, a little moment like that, but then becomes a memory for the family, it just brings us all the joy. It's great. Yes, and we all know nothing replaces in person, nothing. I have a friend who went to uh, see her mom and she said, I, I snuck in a contraband hug because <laughs> I had to touch my mom. And I was like, I love it, I love it. So um, we know nothing replaces in person, but if we can even help a tiny bit to help families be more connected to their loved one, that's what we're all about here at Serenity. Taylor, thank you so much. Um, you truly are a multi-talented young professional, and I love everything that you're doing in your life. Keep writing books, keep creating photos. You're an incredible photographer. Um, keep doing what you're doing at Applewood Our House and, and in all the things that you're, you're working on. Can you tell our audience if they have any, um, if they want to reach out to you with any questions around Applewood Our House, how would they get a hold of you? Sure. Yeah. Thank you for all of your kind words. That's so nice of you. Um, I love what I do and I'm really passionate about it. So thank you. Um, Applewood Our House, you can go to our website, www.applewoodourhouse.com. You can also send me an email, taylor at applewoodourhouse.com if you would like. Um, there's plenty of ways to get in contact. We'd love to answer questions. I always tell people this is a community, the healthcare community, the long-term care community is a community that cares, that wants to help. So if Applewood is not quite the right fit for you, or if you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe you're looking for a different type of care for your loved one, reach out to us and we can help you get pointed in the right direction. We can give you some resources. And I think that goes true with every single long-term community out there. We want to help. So thank you. Agreed. It's one of the things I love about this industry. Thanks for joining us today. Everyone in our audience, thank you for listening today. And if you have a story to share, please share it. Please post it on Facebook. Reach out to me. Um, check out Serenity Engage at www.serenityengage.com. I would love to hear your stories as a family member, as a staff member, uh, anyone at all. Please reach out. We'd love to speak with you. Thank you and have a great day. prepared earlier. I'm not.